Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss about correlation analysis in R. Basically, when we talk about correlation, it is a degree to which two or more variables are linearly associated with, with each other. The direction and the strength of the relationship between these two variables is called the linear correlation coefficient. The value of R normally is in the range of minus 1 to plus 1. The plus 1 means it's positively correlated. Negative means it is negatively correlated. Now let us see how we will carry out this analysis in R. So for this, we are having one file which is orange. We'll run this and you can see that there are variables like tree, age and circumference. Now uh, we want to carry out the correlation between age and circumference. So first we will attach orange. To make the command line, we will make a use the command attach orange. Then we will activate the file that is library lattice. Then there is a command which is splom, splom orange, which gives us a relationship between age and circumference. What is the full form of splom? It is a scatter plot matrix. Now we will formally conduct the test of correlation between the two variables that is that is either it can be between age and circumference but we will use here another uh, data frame that is empty cars. So first of all let us activate the library psych library attach empty cars. Now why I am using this command of uh, subsetting the data let us understand. We can carry out correlation only between the continuous variable and therefore I want to give the information to the uh, R that only run the command between third to eight column. So first of all data applicable to all rows and we are selecting a particular column and therefore now we will be running the correlation on this subsetted data set. The command line is correlation dot ci under, uh, under the bracket data. On right hand side, you can see it gives me the correlationship between all the variables. Negative means negatively correlated, one means positively correlated. So all, all those cells which are blue, they are highly correlated positively. And those cells which are red are highly correlated negatively. We can also conduct the test uh, that is a core test between age and circumference. Here you can see the correlation which is coming out is 0.91 and this correlation is quite significant as the p-value is less than 0.05. So here as the p-value is less than 0.05, we reject null hypothesis which means that there is an existence of correlation between these two variables. We can also use advanced libraries like corplot. For that, first of all, you will have to install corplot, activate the library corplot, run. Now I will find out the correlation between the variables in this. Now I will generate the first, uh, first two, that is first two lines will be generated. Now on this basis, on this basis, now when I activate this library by, uh, by generating this M data, that is M, let us see what is M. Now we have already run this command head run around m and you can see the correlation between all the variables. Okay, so m is a correlation between all the variables. Now I'll generate the core plot. Core plot is m into method is circle. So on right hand side you will you can see the correlation is represented by different forms of circle. The same thing I can represent by pi. The same thing in the command line if I write square it is represented by square. When I write number the numbers will be so. Can I show the, can, is it possible that all the four diagrams are there in one simple, in one canvas? Yes, I will use the command par mf row c, 2 by 2. And when I will run this, now when I will run all these commands together, all the four will be in the same, will be in the same canvas. Now there is another uh, advanced library which is corgram. When I activate this core gram, I am in the position to use or rather I, I can generate the advanced graphics in terms of correlation. So I will activate the library core gram, run, run. 
I'll gender the core plot on the basis of M. You can see on right hand side, this type of graph is generated. At present, two by two is activate, and therefore it is it is giving me the graph in this form. If I if I make the default setting of one by one, now I'll get the full uh, the graph on the full canvas. When I'll run it, you can see. Now instead of upper, if I write lower, it will generate the graph in the lower format. Now there is one more command: corgram empty cars order is equal to true. Lower panel is equal to panel shade. Upper panel panel dot pi text dot panel panel dot text. When I run this command, I'll get the graph in this form. All these commands are readily available in my book, which is data analysis using R. This book is available on Amazon dot in as well as Amazon dot com. For the future videos of R, you can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.